I want to take you back in time. It's a seventh grade and your teacher is standing at the front of the room with a message that I'm sure all of us will remember. Kids, just say no to drugs. Fast forward to 2022. It's a beautiful summer day. The sun is shining, the trees are full, and on your nose is the wonderful smell of something skunky. You look around to see what it is and you realize that for every one Tim Hortons you see, there are two stores selling that very thing you learned about in the seventh grade, cannabis. You may have also seen news stories about all the benefits of cannabis and the molecules inside of it. Molecules like THC or CBD. And you may have heard things like, cannabis can reduce pain or THC can help with your anxiety. And my personal favorite, should your dog be taking CBD? Now, at this point, you might be asking yourself, how did cannabis go from gateway to medical wonder drug? And really, which one is it? My research is dedicated to understanding how cannabis impacts our bodies, and more specifically, our cardiovascular system. For a long time, we've known that cigarettes and other recreational drugs damage our heart and blood vessels and increase our risk of cardiovascular disease, which is the leading cause of death globally. When it comes to cannabis, we know next to nothing. In my first study, we looked at the hearts and blood vessels of cannabis users using ultrasound imaging. We saw that cannabis users had both stiffer arteries and hearts that were less efficient, suggesting that cannabis use might negatively impact the cardiovascular system. In my follow-up studies, participants have actually used cannabis in the lab so that we can see what's happening in real time. We've looked at what happens when cannabis is inhaled by different methods or if different types of cannabis have different effects. As a member of the Human Performance Lab, I've also tested athletes before and after they use cannabis and discovered that only some types of cannabis reduce performance regardless of how they're inhaled. And that's not all. In what might be our most innovative study, we've captured direct recordings of the nervous system after people use cannabis. These recordings have shown us that cannabis actually reduces the activity of the nerves which control the cardiovascular system, which is the complete opposite of what we thought we knew about cannabis. All of this work has helped us better understand how cannabis manipulates our physiology and our risk of cardiovascular disease. And why should we care? Well, cannabis is one of the most used drugs in the world. So let's face it, cannabis is here to stay. And now, it's time to get to the heart of the matter. Thank you.